and we have arrived. Got my new sled, Skidoo, 550 fan motor. Captain Steve helped me uh, inspect it, check it out before I bought it. And I think if you don't buy it, you're an idiot. Then help me clean the car, nice. put in the studs, and a couple other minor things. So this sled's gonna be wicked, wicked, wicked. We're here on Lake Simcoe, gonna look for some whitefish and maybe lake trout. Gonna try some shallow water stuff and uh, if they produce for whitefish then I'm gonna keep going. If I don't find any, I'm just gonna keep on moving. I'm not gonna even set up the hut yet because today's not too windy and it's not too cold. So I don't have to set up the hut and I can just run and gun and try to find the active fish. So right now, let's just uh, change and get going. Well, I'm here in 64 feet of water. This is a new spot. I never fished this area before and uh, kind of exploring. Hopefully I'll get into some kind of fish. Uh, so I've been here for maybe 10 minutes. Nothing's showing up on the sonar yet. I haven't seen a single fish. So I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna throw on a vibrato. I just have a Migs on right now. I'm gonna throw on a vibrato, see if I could call them in with that. If I don't see anything within five, 10 minutes, I'm gonna go in shallower, I think. Uh, yeah. Evidently, there's no fish at this spot. Well, at least not a lot, because I haven't seen any. Time to move on. Spot two, this is supposed to be 20 something feet of water, so it's really shallow here. I have no idea what's gonna be here, so uh, let's drill some holes and hopefully there's some fish. Okay, it's very shallow. It's, it's 19 feet of water. Uh, I never fished that shallow before. Well, we'll give it a go. Oh, there we go. There's a the fish there. <laughs> you see that? There's a fish. There's either the same fish, but there's two marks. Okay, so I just got the missed hit. Um, I'm just gonna set up the hut. Uh, I'm a little bit hungry anyway, so I'll, I'll make my food. <laughs> I 
believe it. I'm literally like a few feet away. I'm literally a few feet away from my hut. I set up in that hut and I don't catch a fish. But from five feet away, I catch a fish. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's a tank. It's a tank. White fish. Oh. And the yapper. You're a big boy. Well, I just got this white fish outside. Are you kidding me? I've been fishing inside the hut, eating my food. And I couldn't find uh, the. I didn't mark a single fish. I go outside a couple times. There's fish there every time I go. Finally, I uh, hooked up with this one. Sweet. Caught him on the Verado. Nice fat boy. This one's a stock fish because you see the fin there is clipped. Oh. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Oh, let me adjust this. Okay, here's my hut. Here's my hut. I set up the hut. This is my initial hole. Where I first saw the fish. My sled right there, right? I drilled that hole. I saw a fish. Look, like, okay, let's set up my hut. I set up the hut, I didn't mark a single one. It's been like an hour. I ate my food, I sat and sat around, warmed up. Didn't mark a fish. I went back out, checked that hole. I marked a couple fish, like, oh, okay, they're around. I go back in my hut, still didn't mark anything. I come back out and I hook up. <sighs> you kidding me? I think I'm just gonna stay outside then, if that's the case. Or I have to move everything over. I don't wanna move everything over though. Let's just fish around for a bit. <sighs> Yes! Oh, it's hot here. It is a good spot here. There's more fish down there. Oh. Try out new spot pays off. Oh, smokes. This one's pulling. Oh, geez. <laughs> it is pulling. What is this? What is this? A big whitey? Pulling pretty hard, but he's he's really bulldogging. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I feel like I'm gonna lose this fish. Oh, lost it. Loaded here. Come on, you're still there. Stuck on zebra or something. Oh, it's diving. He's sticking around, he's staring at me. My hooks must be fouled if it's not hitting me. Why is he not hitting me? There, he's still around. Yep, there you go. There we go. Lift that there. Oh, troubles of fishing outside. Everything's frozen. That's a small whitey. Small one. Just come in the hole. There he is. Come on. There's somebody coming along, pretending we don't have a fish on. There's no fish, there's no fish. Do, 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 do. Oh, okay. There's so many fish in here. I'm gonna release them. There you go. Let's go back for more. Okay, let's do a little halftime tackle talk. Wow, there's no fish at the moment. 
Um, I'm using a 36 foot, sorry, 34 foot medium heavy rod. It's a bait casting rod with a, hold on. So, using a 34 inch bait casting rod with a size 100 reel with I think probably 30 pound braid on it. Don't need that heavy of line, but that's what I have on it. So I'm just gonna leave it on there. Uh, there's probably five or 10 feet of fluorocarbon leader, direct tie to a vibrato that I'm using right now. 18 feet of water. This morning there was no snow. Right now it's coming down real hard. It's supposed to snow real hard today over into tomorrow night. It's gonna be pretty much whiteout conditions. So I don't know how I feel about that, but I'm out here, so I'm fishing. There's fish. I got three fish in like 10 minutes. But the bottom here is pretty hard. It's a pretty hard bottom. Uh, I did rip up some moss on my hook. I'm not sure if it's rock or zebras down there, but it's a hard bottom. It's, it's not very uh, mud-like, not very silty-like. It's not, it's, the, the lure's not getting sucked down onto the bottom substrate ground. So it, it's, a, it's a stiff, hard rock bottom, I think. Here I'm fishing 18 feet of water. Inside the hut was also 18 feet of water. Out, the holes are literally like seven, eight feet away from each other, but the inside hole, I didn't mark anything. How is that even possible? I'll move out here. I got three fish right away. Yep, this fish. There we go. Oh! Oh man! He picked it up. This is a good day of whitefish. <laughs> I love my new sled. <laughs> Spanking them today, that's for sure. Lifted it. I, I lost tension and lifted it. There you are. Another whitey. Oh, Alright, let's take you off. Another whitey. <laughs> whitey yapper. I guess the moral is, even though it was like, it was only like less than five, uh, five, 10 feet away from each hole, all the fish came out of that hole, not this hole. You gotta just like move around. It might be like a big rock under there that was blocking the view. I don't know what it is. Uh, I don't have my underwater camera today, but I guess that's kind of the lesson. Like you gotta move around. You can't just stick out one hole and hope the fish come around. Uh, I guess that's it and call it quits. Good day out. Um, Caught quite a few white fish, no lake trout. This is not really lake trout grounds, I guess, but I got quite a few uh, white fish. New sled, new location, catching the fish on the vibratos. Uh, only got out for a few hours, um, and uh, it was very productive once I got into the fish. It was like bam, 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 right fish out the fifth at the fish. It was like five fish in like 15, 20 minutes. That's awesome. Gonna call it quits and uh, till next time.
Fishing in the cold, using a bait caster, trying to get through this eye is like impossible. Gotta blow it. Give it a good blow.